Hey guys, what's up? Card Hunter here, and today I'm here with another Nanoroid unboxing. This time I'll be unboxing the Alice Synthesis 30 Nanoroid from Sword Art Online Alice Station. So, just a heads up, I do not actually, I have not watched Sword Art Online actually since the first half of the first season. I'm uh, not really a huge fan of it, uh, but the main reason why I got this Nanoroid is because she is a saber face. Uh, that's, that's the meme, isn't it? Um, so yeah, she is, I really like her design. So that's main, one of the main reasons I got her Mineroid. I also like the design for Asna. So I got the, the new Alicization, uh, Alicization Asana from, for Nenoroid, the Nenoroid one. So yeah, anyway, let's just see what's up with this Nenoroid. I got her during the Good Smile sale on their official website. I don't think the sale is going on anymore. Actually, I don't actually know. You guys can check um, if you guys are unsure, but I probably won't be ordering a second batch from Good Smile. Uh, mainly because their sales aren't that big and a lot of the good stuff already got snatched up. But yeah, let's check out this Nenroid and see what's what she's packing. So, take off the plastic first. And let's see. How does this work? Okay. All right, so here is Alice. Overall, right now I'm, I'm looking at her armor and it looks pretty good. All right, so here is Alice, very, very cute. She released back in 2019 in, in August. So it's like, it's been a year, a be, uh, it's been a year since she came out. Um, I think she's not going for that much more expensive. I don't think she's like marked up by that much because I guess people mainly want to get the Kirito and Nasuna Nanoids, but uh, I guess she doesn't get much love yet. So here she is. Uh, she was retailing at 5,093 yen, so that's, she's a little expensive and I can see why. We'll talk, we'll go over accessories later, but looking at her, her, the Nenora itself, it's, looks pretty good. The cape is separated into two pieces. I think it's supposed to be just one long cape, but, uh, I guess it's for you to have a better front, front view. You can have it kind of like that and it's. Like, uh, it's waving in the wind. That's pretty cool. The armor, the gold is done pretty nice. And yeah, there is a slight gradient in the hair. And the ponytail is done pretty nice. Uh, this is movable. And the tail, ponytail here, or I don't know what, what kind of, I don't know what tail they call it. I'll, I'll just call it her braided hair. Uh, it's done pretty well. Whoop, that came off. Okay, so you can just put that back in there. Overall, very, very nice looking so far. Let's have a look at her face plates. So here is her open mouth face plate. And here is her smelling face plate. These are pretty generic. I would have liked something a little less generic, but I, I think she's kind of a generic character. Probably. She's like, yeah, solemn face, attacking face, and smiling face. Would have been nice if, actually, I, I wouldn't say, I won't say much, but uh, yeah, those are the face plates. They look nice, but they are very generic, but that's also good because you can use it with other androids, I guess other nanoroids with uh, blue eyes. Additionally, you also have a eye patch. I think this is her eye patch. I believe she does lose one of her eyes in the anime. And here are the arms. We'll put the, we'll install those later. And here is an extra leg. This leg is for you to make more dynamic poses. And 
next is the swords. So I think one of them is sheath, sheathed, and the other one is unsheathed. So this is the sheathed sword. I think if you pull this out, yep, you can pull it out and you can just have her hold the sheath. And here is the regular sword, very thin. But the, the paint is done also pretty well. Yeah, I don't notice anything. I don't I don't notice any paint defects with this so far. So so far so good. It is manufactured by Guzman Company, so it should it should be pretty good. But I, actually, I've noticed a few defects on my nanoids after opening them later. So uh, yeah. But it's not too big of a deal. So that's the first blister. Let's go on to the accessories for the second blister. All right, so let's see how we install the effects. Let me just put that in there. I'm not sure. sure how it's supposed to look like since I don't watch the show. Um, let's see. But the these are all generic, so you can kind of mix and match it with other nanoids if you like. But there are little flowers on them, so I guess if you don't, if you're <laughs> attack, if you, your attack doesn't have little flowers on them, then it doesn't work for you, but that looks pretty good. Let's see, let's, how, let's see how it looks like on the box. Oh, I guess it's kind of like an ore charging thing. Uh, let's see. So here is the hand, wait, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll swap out the hands first. You, you have to switch this armor piece. Okay. And I guess it can kind of hold the sword pretty well. Here is the installed hand with the sword. I think, am I missing something? Because, let's see. So that's all the arms that we get, I guess. But yeah, I guess the poses aren't super dynamic. If you want to have her, it's a little bit loose. Uh, it's not too firm when you put the sword in. I would have liked it to be a little bit more firm, but you can kind of use blue tap, blue tack to do that. I think. All right, let's try this. Yeah, the sword is a little bit too loose for my liking. So I'll probably use blue tack. But I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, you can also have her hold the scabbard. I guess we'll take. I guess the you can kind of make sort of dynamic poses with this. 
since you can have a different combination of hands and the the uh, shoulders. Let's see. All right. There's that. Uh, the, the, obviously, these poses aren't going to look that good because I'm doing it on the spot. But I think you can make some pretty decent poses um, if you take your time. But it will take some work. And let's see how... The last thing I want to do before I go, actually, is just to see how well this... Okay. So this is pretty heavy. And you do need to have this here. So you're, you're going to need to find a way to make that more sturdy. And let's see. Let's put this back. this here. Actually, don't screw that. <laughs> We're just gonna see if this... So it can kind of hold its pose like that, but I'm not sure how well it'll hold the pose over time. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty dope. I quite like that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of heavy if you move it around. It's, it's gonna fall for sure. But again, you might want to use some blue tack with that. But don't, don't keep the blue tack in there for too long because it might uh, discolor your figure. What else do I want to go for? Before I go, I also, I also want to try out the leg. See how well that goes. I think this is the right leg. It doesn't make that much of a difference because her skirt is really long, but that's how it looks. Not bad. Overall, it's a pretty well-made Android, but the parts are a little loose because I think it's through the weight and the gripping. But it looks really nice. Like I really like these effects. I really like the sword slashing effect. And as a whole, I think she's designed well. Actually, no, before I go, I also want to put the... <laughs> eye patch on so there is I think a slot for you to put the wait how does it how does it go oh derp here Place. Okay. I think it looks like that. Uh, yeah, I guess it just looks like that. Doesn't look great. It's pirate pirate saber. I think it's it looks pretty. It looks okay. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just play her without the eye patch though because the eye patch isn't really my jam. But as a whole, I think she is a uh, pretty nice, uh, nicely made Android, and yeah, definitely put out. And I'll try to see if I can get some nice footage for the B-roll. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you guys want to, uh, my uh, I have some Androids on hold right now that I haven't picked up yet because uh, I'm not going out of my house yet due to the C situation happening outside in Hong Kong right now. It's it's not looking pretty right now. It's it's expo exponentially growing, so uh, I, I'm gonna stay home for now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Karataku, and I'll see you guys next time.